Hello and uh, welcome to another video from trainingblack.com and uh, in this video we'll be talking about um, how to download uh, uh, a SQL Server database uh, uh, from Microsoft site. All right, um, it's, uh, uh, there could be uh, different uh, versions of uh, SQL Server which you could download. Uh, you have uh, something called an evaluation version um, or you could be downloading um, like an express version. Express version is a free version which is not going to uh, time out. Uh, you could use it as long as you want. Um, the other version is uh, basically your um, the other version is basically your um, the evaluation version and the evaluation version um, it is um, will be Will be available for you for uh, about 180 days, I guess. Uh, all right. So I go to Google and then I type here SQL Server download. Right. When I do that, uh, it gives me uh, a bunch of uh, um, links in here. So I could go and I and I could see what I could download. And if you look into this one, this is what I was talking about: download SQL Server Microsoft. And if you see here, download SQL Server 2008 R2 or get a uh, trial evaluation of this product or a SQL Express uh, of our free. All right, so this seems to be like a good site, so I'm going to go there. Uh, or uh, this did not connect, so I'm going to go and reload. Okay, here we are. Um, so I could be going and then downloading. Then I don't want you to go and then download SQL Server 2012. Or, um, you know, so just go and download SQL Server 2008, and that's what you have here. Additional information. Now, this is this is uh, um, like you know, it's a beta version, um, so this is not yet ready. Uh, it's not um, going to be out. So uh, let's go and take something from here. So I go into all downloads. Um, yeah, here you have the option of uh, either downloading. Uh, this version, uh, SQL Server R2, and uh, when you download the trial software, the trial software will work for um, 180 days. Here it is, 180 days. It's going to work for 180 days. That's six months, and that should be quite enough for you to learn whatever you need to learn. Or uh, this is this is like an enterprise version, meaning that it's like a complete version. You got everything in there, not just the database, but also. Um, for reporting services, integration services, uh, um, and uh, analysis services, if you want to do any business intelligence and all that. So everything is in here, the SQL Server uh, 2008, uh, the complete software, right? Uh, or, because it's, it's, as you can see, it's a fully functional SQL Server evaluation edition. Or you could go and get what is called a lightweight, um, you know, so this is, uh, you're not going to get a, uh, Everything in it, meaning that uh, uh, the business intelligence features and all that, you're not going to get reporting features. You're not going to get. So I mean, you know, we don't we don't need all those things. Uh, we we as uh, uh, testers, automation testers, you don't need that. So, um, well, but uh, if you, that's up to you. I mean, if I if I have to do it, I'm just going to go and then uh, download the SQL Server Express. But it doesn't matter. I mean, I have already downloaded uh, this on my machine, and uh, I have. Uh, downloaded uh, uh, this one because that's going to run for like eight months uh, but that is not necessary that you have to do that you could download any one of the two right so that's your choice okay so when you click on that um, a box is going to um, or rather it is it is going to go and then uh, tell you to download by getting started so when you click on uh, get started now uh, it will ask you to um, like uh, a give uh, mm, sign into Microsoft, right? And um, and once you sign into Microsoft, um, it will. Uh, so you have to have uh, either an MSN account or uh, Windows Live account and all that, and then you should be able to download it. Okay. So with that, um, let's make an assumption that you have downloaded that. And for the installation part, it's it's pretty straightforward. You just uh, go click, 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 and then it it gets installed. So when you install that, what you're going to see is something called uh, um, a management studio, which I'm going to bring it up right now. So this is what you're going to see. Uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2008 Management Studio. Now, what is a management studio? A management studio is nothing but the way for you to interact with the SQL Server. Now, you, you want to 
um, do something in that database, right? Uh, you want to go to a, a, a database, look into the tables, and uh, do all that good stuff. So the way you could do that is uh, by going into Management Studio. So how do you go into Management Studio? On my machine, I have it as a shortcut here on the bottom, but let's say probably you won't, you won't have that as a shortcut unless you place that over there. So in your case, what you would do is you would go into All Programs, and when you go into All Programs, you're looking for something called uh, SQL Server here, which is SQL Server. I have SQL Server 2005, I have SQL Server 2008, so I'm going to go into SQL Server 2008, and uh, here, you because because of the fact that I dragged and dropped it here, so I don't see I don't see the management studio here. But in your in your machine, you should be able to see the management studio right here. And then when you see that, uh, you would double click on that, and then it is going to open uh, the same. And uh, it will pop up this window. Okay. Now what do you do on this window? On this window, if you see, um, you have what is called a server type. And, and server name and authentication. Those three boxes are very important. So in the server type, um, because I have uh, downloaded the complete version, I have I have what I was talking about. I have analysis services, reporting services, integration services, and all that, right? So I need uh, to go into the database engine. So I have to select the database engine. It will be selected for you. But just in case, if something else is selected, you got to make sure that it is database engine. Then the next one is, what is the name of your machine? Um, so hopefully this will come up as the name of your machine. The name of my machine is uh, trainer server. So that's the name of my machine. So in your case, it would either show up the name of the machine or it might say like local, right? It would, sh it would show something like that. Now on my machine, I have both the versions. I have the SQL Express and I have what is called the, um, you know, the complete version. So let me, let me show you as how to open, um, both of them one by one. So I'm just going to be opening this, uh, which is the complete version, which is the name of my machine and authentication. Authentication is, uh, if you have to, if you have to, uh, get into the SQL server, you have to either provide the username or password. Um, or you should say that, okay, use the same username and password which uh, I use to log into my machine. So that means use Windows authentication. If you want to provide the, um, the username and password, then you have to select the SQL uh, Server authentication. So in my case, uh, I'm not going to select the SQL Server authentication. I'm going to select the Windows authentication. So uh, I don't have to enter username and password because I already entered it while um, you know, um, coming to this, uh, uh, machine while, uh, getting into this machine. When I booted my machine, when I want to get into this machine, I entered my, uh, username and password and I'm using that username and password and then I will click on connect. And then in, in couple of seconds, what you see is it is connecting. And as you see here on the left hand side, it is going to give you everything in here. It gives you, um, you know, that it has connected to this, to this database. And in there, it gives you these four or five folders. There's something called databases folder, security, server, object, replication, and management. Now, we're not going to get into the security, server, object, replication, management, and all that. Those are things for DBAs, right? Database administrators. By the way, what you can do, let's say if you have multiple users uh, logging into this database, and uh, you have, like, let's say, like uh, 40, 50, 60 users uh, logging into uh, you know, from their applications, they're connecting to this database. And sometimes what happens is uh, your database gets locked uh, because, uh, um, you know, a lot of people are trying to get data out and then so it locks. So the DBAs can go in here into the management and then they will try to uh, unlock it and then they could create some policies uh, that nobody could access the uh, database, let's say, in the night. and. Uh, uh, they will look into the logs, uh, you know, all that good stuff. So we, we don't care about all that because we just want to be uh, tester. So we, our main area is this databases. So I'm going to come and then expand this databases. And then if you see, I have a bunch of databases here. Uh, there's something called system databases. Uh, and then I have something here, reporter server, reporter server. This is already given to me. There's something called a CNET uh, uh, boom or whatever. So what we will do is... Uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you on how to create a new database, right? How to create a new database and what goes in the database. Uh, uh, when you're talking about creating a new database, uh, 
what uh, that involves you to create tables and uh, or should involve you to create some uh, um, you know add some data into the tables and all that. Uh, so that I will do it in the in another video. So um, quickly um, closing this and then since I promised you that I will be showing you uh, the other um, the complete database and the SQL Server uh, Express database, uh, right? So. Um, I don't know, maybe you might have downloaded SQL Server Express. So in that case, I would go uh, take the SQL Server Express. Again, the same thing, Windows Authentication, and then hit uh, Connect. Um, so here it is, same deal, same deal, right? Now, if I expand this databases, I will see whatever databases I have, I will see that. It's taking a little time to open that, and here it is. And uh, here, I have a bunch of databases. I have something called Adventure Works, right? And I have uh, uh, eHealth Insurance Test Database and all that. So I have more databases in here. So, and I have this CNET Boom and all that. Okay. So, uh, everything else is the same, which is again, you have databases, you have uh, security server, asset application management. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, and, uh, I mean, as, as a Closing statements uh, in this video. I just want to go over um, and then talk about again the same thing. Like, uh, what have we done here? We uh, we started the video by saying that okay, you could download relational databases, uh, um, um, and that is SQL Server relational database from Microsoft site. I, I googled it. Uh, I, I said download SQL Server. I went to that uh, Microsoft site. I showed you two different versions, uh, which is the complete, uh, fully functional version, which is Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2. Or you could take the express version. So when you download, you have to have an account uh, to download. So you will uh, have a uh, um, Hotmail account or live uh, uh, account or whatever account, and then you would be downloading. And once you download, you have to install. I did not show you the installation part of it, but that's uh, pretty straightforward. You just have to go and then click on the setup, uh, and then uh, it, it takes about like a good uh, a 10 12 minutes uh, for it to install. And once it gets installed, this is what you're going to see. Um, it will go into programs uh, and uh, all programs, and then you should see SQL Server 2008. And in SQL Server 2008, you should see here uh, all of these things, and you should also see one more thing, which is uh, uh, probably I have it here. Uh, see, like that for SQL Server, I have SQL Server Management Studio, right? Likewise, you would have again here for SQL Server 2008 Management Studio. I You don't see it here right now because I dragged it and I, I put it here. So that's why it is not there. So uh, if, if it was there, you would just click on that and then it would open Management Studio. And this, the rest I already um, you know, showed you. All right, uh, thank you for uh, watching this video and uh, hopefully uh, you would be able to download and install it and you would be able to come uh, um, to this portion where you could go and then see, um, you know, what I have on the screen, something similar to that. And then uh, in, the, in my next video, I'm going to be showing you how to create these, uh, you know, different databases and all that. Again, uh, thank you for watching and uh, I hope uh, to see you back in another video.